Okay, uh, so today I want to, or right now I want to introduce you to the three indicators that we'll be using in uh, today's experiment over the three different pH ranges. So um, the first one is bromocresyl green, okay, and you can see the color change from yellow to green to blue. It's not very strong, but maybe you can see that. And you can see the numbers of the pH range here, 1.5, 2.7, and so on, all the way up to 10. Okay, you're going to be comparing this. The pH range of this uh, indicator is 4 to 6, so you're going to be looking at this indicator in between pH 4 and 6. Uh, the next pH uh, indicator is going to be uh, bromothymol blue, okay, and that's shown right here. Uh, as you can see, bromothymol blue. You can see also its range, or uh, its color change is from yellow to green, then to blue again, just like um, bromocresyl green. Um, but you'll notice the range uh, that you're going to be using this is from 6 to 8. Okay, so that's about where the yellow turns to green and then back to blue, if you can look at those numbers there and you see. And then the last uh, indicator, indicator C that you'll be using, is going to be phenolthaline. And you're going to be using this in pH range 8 to 10, okay, and you can see that in pH, about that pH range, um, it turns from colorless to what's known as fuchsia or pink. And then you can see it actually um, at 10 is really dark pink, okay, and then it actually lightens in color to when it gets to about 12.8 uh, or so, there's no more pink seen. So it goes from colorless to pink and then back to colorless. Okay, so that's phenolthaline. So those are the three indicators you'll be using. Uh, bromocresyl green for the range um, 4 to 6. Okay, bromothymol blue for the range 6 to 8 and phenolthaline with the range 8 to 10. And you'll just be comparing your test tube to the colors here. And um, if they match up, then you can say that it's about that pH, okay?